In this video, we're gonna learn how to use the character and paragraph style panel and even how to control them. And we can be using these two panels to save any character style or any paragraph style within our document. Then we can reuse it later within our document on any type. So let's go to window and type, then selecting character styles. And it's gonna be opening these two panels for us, character styles and paragraph styles. So we can be moving that one maybe to that area in here and we're gonna start by using the character style panel so if you take a look at that composition in here it's including five or six words with different colors and styles however all these words are in multiply blending option so they can be overlapping each others in these intersecting parts so we can be getting that nice effect in here so let's say we need to preserve and save that style to reapply it on our type later so I'm gonna be selecting that paragraph word in here and I'm gonna be clicking on that create new style and it will be creating that character style one. So if we select these words in here and move them all the way to our artboard, we can be selecting that character word and we can be applying the same style by selecting that character style one and it will be exactly the same like paragraph word as you can see in here. And we can be selecting that character word and saving that style as well in here and maybe apply it on our paragraph. So we're trying different colors for these words. And same for control, creating new style and selecting our control word, applying our third style in here. And for the end letter, I'm gonna be copying that one in here, creating new style. I'm gonna be selecting that one and applying that style in here. And same for style word, I'm gonna be saving that one and apply it on our style word. So we can be quickly preserving that style and apply it on any word within our document. And now we can be creating a similar composition to that one in here by selecting these words and arranging them around maybe like that. And the keyword to create a composition like this one is to try to make it balanced like this. So we have the big words at the bottom in here style. So it can be carrying that weight of the other words. And somehow we're trying to balance our right and left side. And also it's very important when you're creating your composition to make your typography readable as much as you can. So we can be exercising that together by selecting the style word, maybe all the way to here. I'm moving the paragraph word all the way to here and selecting the character maybe to that area and control will be probably at that part of our word. I'm gonna be moving that one in here. So now as you can see, we only copied the character style from these words to these words However, the blending options of these words were not saved to these character styles. Now we have almost the same composition in here. However, I replaced the character style with paragraph. We can be selecting paragraph word and applying maybe character style one and then selecting character and applying character style two. We can be changing its name by double clicking on the character style one and two and three. And we can be calling that one maybe Myriad Pro Brown, for instance. So this could be quite helpful, especially if you're going to use more than a style like that. And as you can see, that character style panels save the same exact styles, except for the blending options. So these words in here are actually in multiply. So I'm gonna be selecting all these words in here and going to opacity, normal, and changing that one. To multiply and then we can start rearranging them a little bit and also we can be applying that character style on any word within our paragraph so I'm gonna be selecting that word by double clicking paragraph in here and maybe applying character style 3 pressing escape and we can be selecting maybe that control word in here so we're gonna see that character style three is highlighted. We can be double clicking on that area of our word to access its options. So we have the general options, including the basic character formats, the font, style, and size, and so on. 
and then we have the basic character formats which is allowing us to change the character formats for our style including the font family font style and size and all these settings and here we have the advanced character formats including the scaling and baseline shift of our style and also the character rotation and we can be changing our character color as well we're going to be seeing our color in here and of course changing any of these options will be applied on each and every word within our document using that style so you can think of that as a global feature any modifications you will be doing within your character style will be applied on each and every word within your document so I'm gonna be changing the color for instance to red and as you can see that one got applied to both of our words within our document and here we have the open type features for the open type fonts which is gonna be copying all the features within your open type fonts you can be disabling any of them if you would like this could be very helpful for you guys if you're so deep into typography and of course you can be adding that style to your library so you can be accessing that style later in any other document if you would like so I'm gonna be adding that one to my library by selecting that one and you can be choosing from any of your existing ones or even you can be creating a new one and you can be choosing from any of your existing ones or even you can be creating a new one so I'm gonna keep it in this one and pressing ok and if we go to our libraries we're gonna be finding our character style added in here and if we hover over that one we're gonna be seeing some more info about that character style and also you will see that red color in here so if we change that color from our swatches maybe selecting that blue again you will see that little plus added to our character style 3 which means that this one is modified and we can be going to that menu in here to either clear overrides which is gonna be removing that color and restoring our original color or even we can be changing our color again and going to that menu then we can redefine that character style by applying that blue color to our character style so if we select that one that will be changing our character styles color again to blue however you can be adding that one to your current library as well from here by clicking that button and it will be added with its new color blue color as you can see also you can be using the eyedropper tool or pressing i to copy any word style if you would like instead of using the character styles so you can be pressing command or control to switch to selection tool and selecting that type line maybe and as you can see we have that one on normal character style and if we hover over paragraph word we can be copying that style to our line type and it will be converted into character style one of course you can be accessing your tools option by going to properties panel and going to tool options or even you can be double clicking your tool to access these options in here and you will see that the eyedropper can be picking up your appearance for objects and it's including all these items and also character and paragraph style that could be very helpful in most of the cases However, sometimes you might need to disable the character style or the paragraph style if you only need to copy the color of a specific word instead of copying the character style of that word. So you can be disabling these options sometimes according to your design needs. So I'm gonna be pressing cancel and now I'm gonna be copying maybe that character style in here and switching to type tool, pressing T, selecting maybe that paragraph in here and going to the paragraph style and creating a new style by clicking that button then selecting maybe that paragraph and applying that paragraph style one which will be transforming our paragraph exactly like this one and also we can be accessing that style option by double clicking in that area we will be seeing the character style formats along with the paragraph style options so here we can be changing our basic character formats same like the character style options and we can be controlling the paragraph style options maybe for indents and spacing or you can be accessing your hyphenation or justification or even your tabs and composition for your paragraph so i'm gonna be pressing cancel and of course we can be adding that one to our library as well from here by clicking that button and you can see that one in here 
so if we open a new document by going to file new and clicking create you will see in the paragraph styles and character styles there are no any styles in here however we can be using these styles in here to apply them within our document so i'm gonna be clicking maybe like that having our lorem ipsum and i'm gonna be using the selection tool and maybe selecting that red character style and it will be applied on our world having also the same character style name so using these character and paragraph styles can be very helpful to save you time and effort so always keep them in mind especially if you're going to work on too many type within your document or of course if you're working on some branding project and you need to be consistent with your style so using these panels can be very handy and professional at that time